just start right away. I'm talking about old mobile telephones. No camera, just calling and SMSing. And I got this phone from my boss, so I had no choice. I don't choose my own device, so I have no modern, slick, sliding point device. This has just the nine keys. And what I wanted to do was paste error messages from my screens at work to my colleagues that were somewhere else at a customer or whatever. And what does this mean? Or here's the information you want. And typing that on just those nine keys, especially if it has parents, stars, whatever, is a nightmare. So I wanted to investigate what are the options for me on Linux to communicate with this old phone over Bluetooth or serial devices and make it useful for me. Well, there's a few options. You've got Gnocchi. Uh, who of you has a phone like this? Whoever uses a computer to communicate with the phone. Not yet, but okay. You are take on it. Hmm? You are take on it. So, Gnocchi, this is all open source. Uh, no, this is not all open source. Gnocchi is an open source project that is very, very, very active. It uh, commits to the Gnocchi source code, not daily, but a few commits a week. So it's still maintaining for old phones like these. The graphic user interface is XGnocchi, which is a nightmare. I will show you. <coughs> Gamu is a Python project that, uh, the Gamu is the Python project based on Gamu. And it has a few drawbacks. But it also works quite nicely. The interface is completely different. When you're on Windows, you can choose from the Nokia PC suite, which comes with the old phones. Or with newer phones, you can choose Nokia Office Suite, but will take almost all available memory from your PC. Uh, Noteworthy is a new project that is uh, being started, is Blue Proximity, in which you can, if your uh, phone supports Bluetooth, if you walk away, it will lock your display, and if you come back within range, it will reopen it. So it's like a portable password. Existing modules in Perl to communicate with phones are device GSM, which does it on the lowest level possible. Uh, GSM uh, SMS, which only supports the SMS uh, protocol. SMS sends device GSM, which is also only uh, the device, the SMS protocol, but not based on different phones. Uh, device modem GSM is very interesting, but you have to do it every, everything at a very low level. Nokia file MMP is reading and writing backup files for Nokia. So if you restore those files into the PC suite, you can do very nasty things. And I based my work on this combination, which crashed and poor dumped and was not up to date. It was a good base to start with. It was the GSM interface uh, together with the driver of Nokia. As I wanted to communicate with my phone, I started with this set. And it had one very nice uh, bug in it that if I sent using that when I got running an SMS to another Nokia phone, the, the Nokia phone would die. Also, when the person on the other end was already calling, the only one way to revive it was to remove the battery and put it back in. I went to that to a phone uh, dealer, and they could not resolve it. I still have no answer for that. Well, no. um, it's a command line interface and it's written in C. It's open source so you can download it, it runs pretty clean. Uh, the help is quite long. You have to do a lot of reading to send and receive things from the command line. I do it a bit faster than normal because the original talk is one and a half hour. One has a nice user interface. This is written in Python, and it's one single window in which you have an overview of the possible things you can do with the phone, and when you uh, go to calls, you see what incoming calls, outgoing calls, and so on. So it's very intuitive. It's a good interface. But it's written in Python. The 
Now, the also online interface is really busy and it's very actively maintained, as I said. The help is much shorter, but you can do minus minus help monitor or minus minus help SMS. Once you've got used to it, it's still, I think it's still not user friendly to do that from the online interface. You know, X can OB is the GUI, and that's what makes me angry. I type in no X no D. It starts a new window. This is the main window. You have to click on SMS. Uh, then you come here. Then you have to click on new SMS. Then you come here. Then you have to click on address book. Then you come here. You have to scroll, 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 scroll till you find the right one because there is no auto completion. That gets back to here. Then you type your message. Then you click on send, it goes back here, then you have to exit that and your, your ma mouse movements are... This is a bad design for a user interface, in my opinion. It has all the functionality, but it's disastrous. There's two small indicators of power in the signal, which are interesting, but you can almost see them. So this is not what I wanted. It's functional, but it's not what I wanted. Windows. Almost the same. I'll hold my roof. Main interface, you choose anything and you get a new window and a new window and it's slow and it's cumbersome. I don't have something for the office suite. Oh, very uh, Device GSM, you connect to a device, you register, you send an SMS. A very simple interface, it works. But who does the connection and how do you? Control that. It's, you have to read a lot to make this work. Here's a Pinocchi. This is what I made. It's totally based on the interface that Pinocchi gives you. So if you can connect to your phone with Pinocchi or X Pinocchi, this one will work out of the box. New, connect, no options. It just uses your configuration. You can get daytime, you get memory status, you get a phone entry, what else you have, whatever. It's direct calls through XS to Lipnoki. So if you update your Lipnoki, you get automatically update back end to this. I've got some examples. It's a one-to-one -one interface. So for every opcode that Lipnoki supports, I have the same function in XS. Function in XS is very simple. Get daytime. In this case, only has the handle. Uh, you have the setup for your uh, data structures for the Gnocchi call. You have a Gnocchi function call with an op. This is the op. It's defined by lib Gnocchi. I make a new hash. I get my date into the hash and I return it. If it fails, I return undef. So the returns in Perl of date is gsm error get date time is a hash with a date and because it's a gsm date to gm it also gives you the unix timestamp which is easy to calculate these are all the operations it's small you don't have to read them the ones with the stars or in green if you're not uh, colorblind are already done the red ones are not yet done send sms Almost as simple as the one I showed you from the uh, other module. If you send an SMS with a destination and a message, and it's done. Error recovery is uh, hard because Lipnoki has several things like zero is valid, but undef is something else. So you have to be careful with what the error is, but you have to read that. This is why um, in taking TK user interface. So, my interface just starts You start the TK, it's one click on my desktop It starts, it automatically connects to my phone Opens the address list Get it into your drop-down So you can immediately click on the one You type your message and you click send Done, one simple interface Right phone book entry. 
management. When you click here on the plus, you can create new address books, entries, or modify existing ones. There is a, a small user uh, dialogue, and this is how you write it in Pro. Can it be more obvious? I've no, not found any GSM oh, or SMS or phone book entry or that does it this simple. And it's the same thing you get returned when you ask for a phone book entry. By the way, writing this reviewed bugs in Lipnoki and we immediately uh, repaired that. Um, making a backup, you connect, you encode, you do to JSON and all the functions that I uh, made available in my driver, you can just put them in one hash and you make a complete backup. This might take a while because there is also SMS list. If you have a lot of SMS in your uh, phone, it, it might take a while. Dear list, this is fun. You can actually look inside your phone to the directories undocumented. And there is pre-dev gallery, pre-dev graphics. All those images on your phone that you normally can't get by are suddenly available with all the properties. I made it full browser for the phone in ProTK. So it opens the memory, shows you all the things. What you see here, pre-def gallery, but there's also hidden galleries and everything you can see. Then you click on greetings and you say preview and it shows you the image here. So it's fun to browse your phone on what's uh, normally not available. Pre-dev hidden folder. So if how, what menu you use, you can see that. But when you use this, you can see it. Sweet conf is just XML. You can, you can get the XML out, but you can also write it back so you can now modify your phone. I've not experimented with that. I'll probably kill my phone. Um, Maybe my kids are online. This is my icon. So it opens my phone. It opens automatically. Reads. It is already done reading the. Eventually, want to give this module away to anyone who is willing to uh, take over, do something with it, or uh, make it on CPAN. Why do I not put it on CPAN? Because I got the phone from my boss. I'm not attached to this phone. If I get a new phone, it might not be a Nokia, or it might be something completely different. Maybe I get a new gadget. So I'm not attached to this model. But I will, will help anyone who will take over, explain what happens, and go for it. This supports anything that Knoki supports. So they, I think they also support my brother phones. But uh, as long as Lipknoki is able to communicate over a serial USB or Bluetooth with phones they support, this will work because it's just direct calls to Lipknoki. It's, it's a pro interface to Lipknoki. More questions? And this is it. Or we can look at the source. We all know that Pro uh, 
access code is based on this is too small, I think. Uh, access is based on uh, macros, not on real C. So I've created a lot of new macros. So I've defined HP get S, which is get a string based on a key from a hash. So you give the hash key a length and a destination. So I don't have to do this over and over again. Which means that the get address book Get string number, this is readable code, in my opinion. 